Noah, who do you have making Team USA in the men's 100? So, to preface this, I think we should, because everybody don't know, top three automatically get a spot for the Olympics. For the 100 meter and the 400 meter, they take typically like six to eight for the relay pool, typically the finalists, all the finalists. But the top three get their guaranteed spot, just to like preface that, right? But my 100... I got Noah one, Christian two, Kenny three, Kenny Benderick three. Okay. This is who I got for my men's 100. I got Christian Coleman one, Noah Lyles two, and then the high school phenom Christian Miller in third, making that team USA. The kid. Yeah, man. Uh you said you said you got what Noah. You said Noah, Kenny, and um, and Christian, right? Yeah, so Noah, Christian, Latin. Kenny. Yeah. Noah, Why you got them? Why you got them? Um, I think that Kenny has been the most consistent. Um, out of the field, Noah is the most talented in the field, and he's the reigning world champ. And Christian has a start that would demoralize. 60% of this field, especially the collegiates who aren't really ready for it. So that kind of, the, that was kind of my dynamic that I was playing on. I also had Fred, um, Courtney Lindsay, Kendall Williams making the final. I think those three names are guys that could sneak in there as well. Cravant had a great showing last year. I didn't see him repeating it this year. Um, but the person that does strike my fancy is Kendall Williams. Because he ran 993 about a month ago. He's always been a guy that's always been around. He's been in relay pools. He's made finals. Youth teams. He was on youth teams. So to see him maybe uh, sneak into that third position there, I wouldn't be too surprised. But that's, that's my top three. All right. Uh, so notably, like, we're both not putting Fred in there. Why? Like, I'll go over why I don't have him. So the reason I don't have him is like, I haven't seen enough from you. Like if I were to do, you, you, you've ever seen Colin Coward, you know, he does the herd and all that. Or oh, yeah. Some stuff. Oh, yeah. yeah. So for those that don't, don't watch Colin Coward, he'll do like, Hey, I'm going to do a blind quarterback where he's like, Hey, I'm going to just show you the stats of these two players. And you tell me which player is better just based on the stats. I'm not going to tell you who they are. And then they'll show you the stats. And so that's what I'm where I'm at right now with Fred Curley, where if I just showed you what he's ran this year and you and I was like, hey, this is what has happened with this runner. You tell me uh, what's going to happen to them, you know, when they're at the the 100 or when they when they run the 100 later on this year. To put it in perspective, Fred Curley right now has where to go. I just I just had it. The 45th fastest time this year in the 100 now that's including all performances uh he's he's 45 in the in the world if you're including only uh the best from the athletes right now he is at what he ran a 1003 right yeah he's 32 so not a whole lot a whole lot better i find it really hard for me to like pick a person that's 32nd in the world even though you are the olympic champion or the olympic uh, silver medalist you are the world champion uh, previous world champion in, you know, in winning this. Cause like, I haven't seen you run, man. Like this year you've, what have you done this year? Like not enough, not a whole lot, uh, you know, from, from the season you've ran in the hundred, one, two, three, you've ran four times, you scratched a time and it's been your best is 10 Oh three and you've running 10 ones. Like uh, it's hard for me to put you on that team. Like I know the name and I know you're saying world world record next time I hit the track, but you didn't hit the track. You hit the track, you, you fell, unfortunately. But uh, you know, we, we didn't see that race, so it's it's hard for me to put someone there. I get it's on the name. I'll put you in the final based on name alone. But until I see you at least run something, I it's hard for me to get you on that team right now, man. Yeah, bro, I, I don't see it. And 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 experience means a lot. Demeanor means a lot. But this just guys, that's just better. Right. Yeah. Now. Right now. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard when if now if he comes through and runs in the round one and it's the old, it's the Fred Curley of old. Like okay, like um, it's changed. It's different. That's why I was really wanting him to race at NYC Grand Prix because then I could have like actually put you somewhere. Like all right, like you run a nine ninety, even though it was, it was windy, or like you run a, you know, 
something. All right, I can I can say you're you're getting your feet under you, but I haven't seen anything, man. And you're you're not. We don't know what spikes you're gonna wear because you you dropped your sponsor like that. That all that stuff like plays in the and you can play in your head of like what's going on. So it's just hard for me to put them there. So, but I had Christian Coleman, Noah Lyles, Christian Miller with like with Coleman. I think. I, I don't know. This is just my guess. I don't know if he's like, he, it seems like he gets annoyed. He likes beating Noah Lyles. Like I think his favorite person to beat is Noah. Like we, he, he likes waving at him. Like after he wins, he's ra- He's yelling, he's going crazy. I think he just likes beating him. And I think the win, like I think Lyles is really focused in on, Hey, I need to make this team. Cause I want to try to win at the Olympics where Coleman, I think this win would mean more for him. Of like, no, I need, I want to get this victory. I really want to get this dub. Uh, so that's where I think his just determination can get him through there. And he's done fairly well against Noah this past, uh, the past year or so. And then Christian Miller, like that's just off pure guts right now. I mean, he's been like, it's crazy to say this high school kid has been one of the most, if not the most consistent 100 meter runner in the USA this year, he's ran sub 10, the last, what, two or three times that he's ran. And he's do- he's not doing like what typical high schoolers do of like racing every single weekend. Like he's running very meticulously, which makes me think he's going to come in there with house money. Look, I ain't got nothing to lose. I'm a high school kid. He can mess around and, and do something. So Christian Miller, get your team USA gear on. You- you're making that-, that squad. First high schooler to make a 100-meter squad. And, geez, I don't even know when the last time it happened. So if it did. So I'm – I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to pick him, man. What are your thoughts on it? I like the boldness. I, I didn't take Christian just because I thought the rounds might fry him. But if he makes it, that would be incredible. Like, he's 18 years old. Yeah. Can't imagine. How, how would you be feeling lining up? Let's say high school Noah, you lining up against, geez, what what, what year was it? Let's Was that 2016? So, like, 2016 17. Olympics. Or 16, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. 2016 Olympics, you lining up against – what like LaShawn, like, I guess what like LaShawn Merritt, Fred Curley, Mike, Michael Norman. Who are some of the other greats that were were, were there in 2016? But <laughs> what what would you be feeling on that line going up against some of them uh them 400 meter legends? High school Noah, I'll probably be like, yeah, I'm about to show these old heads. Like I'm about <laughs> to kill these old niggas. You know, I mean, I don't know if we can blurt that out, but I'm about to kill these folks. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of probably was my. There you go. We'll see if Christian got that same uh, mentality. I mean, you yeah. might might have to go ahead and do it, bro. Uh, what about for the the women's the women's one hundred? What do you got for the women's one hundred? Women's one hundred. I got Shakari first, Tamari Davis second, Aaliyah Hobbs third. Okay, okay. We we kind of close. We kind of close. I got Shakari Richardson winning. I have Mackenzie Long coming in second, and then I have Tamari Davis coming in third um why tell, tell us about your picks man why you got that yeah so i think that shakari is the best in the field right that was, goes what i was saying i don't need to say too much but after shakari i think the one that over the last like year like this season and last season <clears throat> tamari has shown me like consistent good performances and she beats a lot of people consistently like i had to look at the paper and because I really like Aaliyah Hobbs. She's got a lot of talent and she runs very consistently, but Tamari typically beats Aaliyah when they race. <clears throat> so I had to kind of keep that in consideration. And with K- McKenzie, I have her in the final along with like Melissa and a couple other ladies, um, Melissa Jefferson, that is. And um, I just think that McKenzie just had this whole like emotional high from nationals. I, I think she's going to be a little bit phased out, but I would still love for her to make the team. If she makes it great. That's why I put her at fourth, makes the relay pool, get to see her in Paris. Perfect. You know? Okay. Okay. Yeah. I've got you um, pick your picks. No, your, your picks. Oh, mine. Picks? Yeah, mine. So for me, she carry, like, like you said, I mean, she, I, I don't see a world where she's not winning. Now I think like it's, yeah, like she has been doing a lot of other things right now this year with the documentary, with all these commercials, you're, you're, you're filming videos with, you know, Cardi B, you're doing all this stuff, which like that takes a lot of time and energy. Um, and, you know, this is it seems like it's been all new this year. And how can that impact an athlete? Like, I think that can change a lot, but mm-hmm. it seems like she's been doing well with it because, I mean, she ran her 
you know, 1083 at, you know, in her most recent races, you know, at, at Prefontaine. So I, if anyone can do it, I think it could be her. But um, I think she's the clear, clear favorite. And I, I, I'm, it's going to be really tough to dethrone her. Uh, then with Mackenzie Long, like, I think it's, she's going to be riding, like, for kind of almost the opposite reasons that you had mentioned. Like, I think she's going to be riding the high of, like, I mean, she just peaked for nationals. What was it? Like, last week, a week, a week ago. So it's like, mm -hmm. hey, you still have that in your legs. Like, you've gone through and you've gotten these dubs on that track very recently most recently of anyone else and you know setting personal bests while doing it and so if if any if it's i think that can you know play a factor of like you we've seen you get there recently uh so i think that's why she can come in second so our davis yeah she's just been extraordinarily consistent she's got of all the athletes for for usa like she's been very like very consistent with where where she's at um uh, uh, the reason i had Aaliyah hobbs i got Aaliyah hobbs in fourth and i got um melissa jefferson in fifth like she's been a little bit un infrequent this year like uh she she's had some really good races and then it's a, a lot of not so great races i know the wind's been a factor but still uh so i'd like to just see a little bit more a little more consistency from her compared to you know where it's been in the past okay so respect it man i like it though We'll see. Uh, I'm, I'm, I got a couple college people on these uh, on this thing, so that, that ain't gonna be the last last time you've seen some college.